so let me just set this up for you. This is going to be a bit of a ranty vlog, um, so just bear with me. I'll just kind of set this up for you guys so you can understand what made me think of this. Um, so basically the other day I was in my car, as we all tend to do from time to time. I was going to a place where I didn't really know where I was going. So, anyways, what ends up happening is I'm uh, in this very uh, small road because it's this little neighborhood, right? And the, and the road's small enough to where there aren't even lines on the road, okay? And I uh, approach this um, sort of like a T-type junction in the road where I could either go straight or turn right. Um, and for those of you across the pond to drive on the left side of the road, there wouldn't be a stop for me. I would have the right of way. I would just turn right. So there was no stop sign or anything. But I had come to a stop because I wasn't sure if this was the road that I uh, had wanted to go down. Okay. Um, and there was nobody behind me, so it wasn't like it was a big deal. Um, in any case, uh, this is the speed limit through here, I don't know. Um, 40, okay. So, I come up to this intersection and uh, I'm stopped because I'm thinking, do I want to turn right or do I want to go straight? How do I get out of this neighborhood that I'm in? And uh, so basically what happens is this motorcyclist pulls up across, you know, across from me. He's in the opposing direction and he's wanting to turn left. So he's wanting to turn down the same street that I'm signaling to go down. And because I was stopped, and he had to come to a stop because he had to yield right of way to me, but I waved him through because I wasn't sure where I wanted to go right then. It wasn't a big deal. There was nobody coming. It wasn't like we were on a big road. Like, um, So I'm not sure what this guy's deal was, but he just shakes his head no like this. You know, he just shakes his head no. And I'm like, okay, well, for some reason this guy, there's a Volkswagen, this guy doesn't want to turn in front of me. And I'm like, okay, well, maybe he is afraid I'll follow him, or I don't know what his deal is, he just doesn't want to turn in front of me. So I just kind of made a quick decision to go ahead and turn, and so that's what I did. And, uh, what's the deal here? We have a green light. So I turn, and he comes in behind me, turns in behind me. And he's still shaking his head no, and I'm, I'm like looking at him like, what is this guy's deal? And he's like talking, because he's got one of these uh, modular face helmets, uh, so it's basically like open face. He's like wearing shorts on like this really old Ninja 250 and whatever, and I'm like, okay, Squid is upset for some reason. And so I, I'm like, well, I'm just going to turn and get out from in front of this guy, because he obviously has some kind of beef with me now for whatever reason. And... Um, so what I want to talk about is butthurt motorcyclists, and what I mean by butthurt is when you get unreasonably upset over something that shouldn't really upset you, and then you act like a huge victim about it, and yeah, he's all butthurt because I wanted, I waved him through when I had the right of way for some reason, and he's continuing to shake his head no, and I'm like, okay, and he's he's talking, so he's cursing me. So I had to make another, I signal to make another right turn so that I don't have to deal with this guy anymore. And when I do that, he just he just starts shaking his head no again, like like I'm some idiot and for making a turn. I don't know if it's because I put my signal on 97 feet before I was supposed to turn instead of 100. I don't know what his deal was. So I was just like... Like, how could you be that unhappy while you're on a motorcycle? I did not endanger you. I didn't do anything especially stupid. I was actually being courteous to you. You know, maybe try to understand that I don't know where I am and I'm lost. And the, my whole point is this. Sometimes people get on this motorcycle and they think, like, they're God and they do no wrong in traffic. They never make a mistake. They forget that they ever have driven a car before. So... You have cagers, motorcyclists, and they hate each other forever. And I'm just like, well, that's stupid because you drive a car, too. Most people do. At some point, they drive a car. And 
and most po uh, most people at some point have made mistakes driving in their car, have made mistakes riding on their motorcycle, have kind of driven around like they're an idiot, like slow and maybe like they don't know where they are, or they're lost. So I don't know, like my whole thing was, do I see the irony of me being butt hurt over somebody else being butt hurt? Yes. Uh, but I just wanted to bring it up because it's like, as a motorcyclist, this guy kind of made me mad because in a way it was, I don't know, I just felt like, well, why are you even on a motorcycle if you're going to just be angry all the time and hateful? Like, I don't really get it. Like, the whole point is sort of... It's sort of that you um, are enjoying life. And, and, and you do, do people in cars do really stupid things that endanger your life? And does it make you mad? Yes, but I think you need to be able to distinguish between those things and the things that are, are trivial and don't, you know, don't really matter quite as much. I think this is the road I need to turn down. I feel like my eyesight is worse when I'm on a motorcycle. Does that make sense? Uh, no. So, yeah, I was just like, don't be so butt hurt when you're on a motorcycle. Don't get so judgmental about other people and act like you're perfect. And I wasn't even really making a mistake. I was just doing something courteous that he didn't think was appropriate, apparently. And he had a major problem with it. And I was just like, well, you know, go ahead and be butthurt about it. My guess would be that he was new to motorcycling. Is this it? Yes. That he was new to motorcycling. And so he was of the opinion that everybody in a car is evil. And he just took a really adversarial stance. And uh, this is a lovely area. But yeah, don't don't be one of those butt hurt motorcyclists that just acts like such an ass. It's a it's a little bit about road courtesy too. Like I mean, I was trying to be courteous to this guy, and he returned that with, you know, just hate. He was just hateful, and it was just like, I don't know. You're just you're creating a negative perception of of pretty much every motorcyclist out there because you, you're exactly like a prick. But I'm going out here to, um... I'm going out here to... basically find a house that my sister wants me to look at that was listed on Craigslist, and I'm kind of hoping these people are not serial killers.